and this is the first time I'm doing uh, a course with David Zambrano since I qualified as a Melt Method instructor and for me it's been fascinating to see how deeply regulating flying low is to your autonomic nervous system. Stimulating the right and the left is essential for having a healthy experience in space for your ability to know where you are in space you have to start practicing and balancing the right and the left so david zambrano he always says don't forget one part of your ass don't half ass it so you want to take your right and your left but then uh the other question is like i've spoken previously um, in videos and i've addressed people with chronic pain uh, how the melt method can support them or how movement with awareness can support them to get out of chronic pain. But I think um, it's important to also understand the needs of someone who uses their body intensely uh, as a performance tool. Not necessarily performance in terms of stage performance, um, although that also can be of, of course enhanced uh, by coming back to the body but more as in if you put your body through six hours of training every day for one month um, the demands on your body uh, are a little bit greater so you actually need uh, hydration more than joe average just walking his little dog in the morning in the park so what does uh, someone need to, to self-care if they're intensely using their body. So this is something that became apparent for me because um, I haven't been dancing for six hours for the past, like I haven't had a stint of like a dance training where um, I'm dancing for six hours for two weeks. I've like done dance classes, but not as intensely. Um, and now doing this for one week has passed. Um, I'm noticing certain things that come into my awareness very quickly and and need my a little bit of my support for me to be able to do that for two weeks. So for example, if you're going to take one leg and the other, and get up out of the ground quickly if this is gonna happen repetitively and quickly this part of your body the ribs if they're super dehydrated they will jam up this uh hip because what i'm doing here is like i'm taking one leg flexing the other leg i'm spiraling through my body to land to take uh, to land on my foot but to do that if this is jammed and compressed and dehydrated i'm going to have problems with this hip which i very quickly experienced and normally in the past when this would happen i had no tools how to help myself like uh yeah, you can side bend, but that's not going to stimulate collagen in the space of the if the the finesse of what kind of method you use to hydrate to stimulate collagen in your body for me is not equivalent with just stretching any form of stretching. It has to be very um, conscious, breath-infused movement with a particular form of compression, which is like massage you can experience. If you can afford a massage, great. I cannot. <laughs> so I'm super grateful that now I have this tool where I can do a self-treatment for myself to hydrate the back of my skull, uh, the back of my sacrum, my ribs on the side, the 
thoracic spine so that everything plumps up and I know how to do this and enjoy myself with lots of force going through it. Because once David, David Zambrano starts speeding up, uh, it, it's a thrill, it's a pleasure. And you have to have the fluidity, the hydration, the collagen in your body to be able to move through it with, with great force. Otherwise, it's all beautiful for us to be improvising, to be uh, taking our awareness to the right hand, to be stepping in the front. But this is not what David Zambrano does. He's not just moving gently your awareness. He's moving in space with other dancers to the beat of a rhythm that can go very fast. And I think... I think that it's really helpful to understand the difference between neurofascial and myofascial if you're uh, using your body in an intense way. It's very helpful to understand that if you're a regular Joe or Mary. <laughs> but it's even more important if you work with your body because a lot of dancers smash through their, they, they roll out their muscles, they roll out the tension in their muscles. but I don't think that stimulates collagen production. It just releases a little bit of tension around the joints that comes from the accumulation of certain byproducts of movement. But the five-step process of the MELT method, which not only uh, flushes out metabolic waste, but also uh, stimulates the neuroreceptors in your connective tissue, uh, creates like a space in between the collagenous um, uh, fibers to plump up and, and, and pull in hydration, so create collagen, uh, and also creates uh, this movement, which is one directional electrical um, signaling towards the central nervous system to improve your sensory motor control. So it's designed by people who are clinical uh, researchers in neurofascial uh, technology and a Sue Hitzman, who's a fitness and craniosacral therapist who has been doing this for like 30 years. So for me, until I found that, I was a mess and I was wholly and fully dependent on physios, chiropractors, and people who I often did not have the money to pay. So I just plowed through without supporting myself. Um, and I think self-care for dancers, runners, uh, skiers is really important and has a specificity that's a little bit different from the need of someone that's dealing with, say, depression and they're melting or they're using neurofascial approaches to stimulate the autonomic nervous system to calm down their um, uh, sympathetic nervous system response to rebalance their neural core. It's a little bit different if you're a performance-based uh, person using your body as a tool. And um, I have been exploring this teaching a little bit over the past uh, two years since qualifying and I've noticed the difference between the different needs uh, through myself but also recently I trained someone who has you know climbed uh, a peak in the Himalayas the kind of climbing that you do where you have to pay 10,000 euros to <laughs> the Nepalese government to get up there uh, so he's a professional, uh, semi-professional alpinist, like a avid skier. He has a, his chalet in Chamonix. And when he booked a consultation with me, I was like, holy crap, like, what the hell am I going to teach this guy? <laughs> like, I feel if we were out there skiing, I, I wouldn't even be able to keep up with him. And then once we got on the floor and we did a short body scan, 
very quickly it became apparent where he has a compensation in his body that has actually been giving him difficulty in using his hands, like the grip of his hands in climbing. So undoing these compensations, stimulating the collagen in your body, rebalancing the neural core, these are tools that you can learn with the Mount Method instructor and then they become yours. Then you just have your roar, you have your therapy balls and you can consult from time to time because I can tell you the body of knowledge that has been developed in the community of Soup Kidsman is astounding. Um, and it's, for me, it's fed through, you know, my practice of body mind centering, my practice of Scaravelli yoga, uh, my studies in functional anatomy. But you cannot depend on someone. You need to work with someone that's going to feed your capacity to notice the compensations and gives you a tool or a process or a method that you can stimulate collagen. Everything else, for me, is not respectful of what a dancer or a performance-based uh, professional needs to take care of their body and their mind, their connectivity uh, in their body. So yeah, if you want to give it a try, I'm really happy to work with dancers and I'm open to uh, work with your budget because I know it could be budget sensitive. Um, so yeah, I hope you have a great time and um, send me a message if you need some support. Uh, although I, I don't have the capacity to answer like very specific questions that relate to your body that only happens in a consultation with me. Have a great day. Bye.